Welcome back to Daily Devotions from Mount Calvary Lutheran Church. My name is Pastor Andrew Howe, and it's a joy to be here with you this week as we continue uh, and conclude uh, this week the, the journey through the book of Acts. And today we're going to take a look at Acts chapter 23 and Acts chapter 24. Before we begin today, I want to ask you a question. Have you ever been uh, convicted of something you did not do? Now, I'm not talking formally uh, in terms of, of being convicted of a crime, uh, but maybe someone that you cared about thought you did something that you really didn't do, and it really tarnished that relationship. Well, you see, that's really what the heart of the matter is in the next couple chapters, is Paul is unjustly accused of something he's not guilty of. You see, they had a problem with, with his message and his, his uh, proclamation of the gospel. You see, he, he was accused of rejecting basically the Old Testament, the, the, the Mosaic Law, the, those Ten Commandments that God gave Moses on Sinai and, and, and rejecting the, the, the law and the prophets. And Paul really has to uh, set the, the bar straight. You know, that, that happens to us. Sometimes people don't have all the information or they mishear how we conduct ourselves or the things that we say. Paul had to stand before the council and he had to make a clarification uh, to set the, the, the battle straight. And even in the days of, of Jesus, we knew that there were two major groups, the Sadducees and the Pharisees. And while they had, had some similarities, they had some major differences. And, and one of the, the major things that was important to the Pharisees was the, the belief of the resurrection of the dead. And Paul says, you know, that's the heartbeat of the Christian message, that, that Christ was killed, Christ was raised again, and now God has given his people a hope of the new life that we are promised in Christ Jesus. You know, they were so d divided over what Paul had said because they were shocked to hear that he believed in the resurrection. And, and it was a very overwhelming moment for Paul in his life. And, and eventually he would be put into custody. But yet he was encouraged by Jesus. And I just want to share a, a verse from chapter 23. The following night, the Lord stood by him and said, Take courage, for as you have testified to the facts about me in Jerusalem, so you must testify also in Rome. You see, from here, they're going to take Paul to the governor, Felix. And uh, we had seen this uh, kind of brewing along over the last number of chapters where they are hesitant and hostile to the gospel of Jesus Christ. And so Paul eventually, uh, they, they had a plot to kill him. And, you know, that were kind of true for all the apostles. It was true for Jesus. They were out to kill the message by killing the messenger. But this is what, what Paul confesses in chapter 24. But this I confess to you, that according to the way which they call a sect, I worship the God of our fathers, believing everything laid down by the law and written in the prophets, having a hope in God which these themselves accept, that there will be a resurrection of both the just and the unjust. So I always take pains to have a clear conscience toward both God and man. You know, Paul's going to stay in prison for a while and, and they're going to keep him. But that doesn't mean he's going to stop sharing the gospel. In fact, he is going to share his faith in Christ and the hope of the righteousness that we have to Felix and his Jewish wife. You see, that is the hope that we have. Yes, we're often dealt situations where we're uncomfortable. It's not right. We maybe have been treated unjustly and maybe even for the sake of the gospel. You know, I, I think those days are probably coming in this country. But yet we have a hope that is bigger than any problem or poor circumstance or even unjust deal that we might have that we face in life. 
Paul is really trying to encourage us that we have a peace with God. We have the faith in the resurrection of Jesus and that resurrection belongs to you and me, whether we live or whether we die. So today, maybe you've been walking through an unjust circumstance. Maybe you've had a burden placed on your heart and you can't get out of it and it's out of your control and, and, and relationships have been impacted in a negative way. Hear these words again. We follow the way, Jesus. He is the way, the truth, and the life. And by his grace, we are able to go to the Father. Will you pray with me? Father in heaven, we thank you for those faithful testimonies like people like Paul. I pray that, Lord, if we ever find ourselves in, in those situations, may we be bold proclaimers of the gospel, the good news and the hope that we have in your son, Jesus. And it's in his name we pray today. Amen. Have a great day knowing that Jesus Christ, the way, the truth, and the life is your hope.